staff. I worked at Gibson's for four years. Um, 44 was when I started there. I cut out the Gibson. First I had to lay three little pieces of pearl together. And then I sprayed Gibson on them in black. And then I took a little jigsaw and had to jigsaw them out. And then we laid them in the guitar. My name is Bob Manning, M-A-N-N-I-N-G. And I worked at Gibson's during the war. Four, 44 to 46. 46. 46, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I run machines most of the time, lathes and Which you spot, and drill, and ream these parts, these bushings, and then you cut them off. And that was, that was it, and you just keep on running. And it was a dirty, oily job, that was one thing. But, uh, well, that, I had a pretty nice job. Your, your job was clean, <laughs> wasn't it? You didn't take any oil. I didn't get too dirty. No. I didn't do too much. I don't, yeah. <laughs> that must have been off. Let's see, there's Barb, and there's me. And you know, I can't think of hardly any of those girls' names. So I like this award. picture because of Gibson sign us up there. But when I look at this picture with all these women, the only ones I know now is I and Barb. Yeah. Gene Autry came and visited the factory where they made his guitar. He didn't sing there. <laughs> but he was, uh, everybody was so pleased, so surprised to see him. And, uh, of course, he, he played, well, naturally, he played a Gibson guitar, and that's why he was there, probably promoting it or something, I don't know. But he was there, and he was a nice, uh, nice, pleasant man. But it was really a nice place to work, though. I really enjoyed working there. I had no problem with it at all. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. They were so nice to work for.